Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Printify webinar. I'm Martin from Printify, and I'd like to thank you for joining us for our first webinar in a series of three on SEO, that search engine optimization. And when uh, the merchants I work with, this is a topic that always comes up. How do I how do I optimize it? What do I need to do? Well, the good news is we are joined today by Dennis Lazarenkov, all the way from London, England, to tell us the entire SEO story, give us his insights so that you can put that to work to optimize your profitability. But before we get into that, I just want to do a little bit of housekeeping. What, um, our uh, moderators, Chris Dubs and Sarang, will be answering questions in live chat, but some of the questions may get a little bit technical. So if we have to follow up with you in email, we will do that, but we will leave no question unanswered. So please feel free to enter that into chat today. Also, uh, we will be having a trivia question at the end of this session based on the material that has been presented. So stay tuned, watch all the way to the end, and we will be choosing three people who answer the uh, trivia co uh, question correctly first, the first three people that enter the, the correct answer into chat. So pay attention. And also, since this is a three webinar series, if you watch all three webinars all the way through, we will uh, we will uh, know that through through our through our analytics, and if you watch all three all the way through, you will be entered for the grand prize, which is a hundred dollar Printify, uh, hundred dollar Printify uh, sales credit, along with a Printify hoodie as well. So watch all three all the way through and get a chance to win big. But for now, pay attention to all the way through. We will be having a trivia question for a fifty dollar. Uh, Printify sales credit for the first three to answer correctly. Okay, now that that's been taken care of, Dennis, thank you so much for joining us today. Very happy we get to do this. As I mentioned previously, when it comes to SEO, this is a this is a question that comes up a lot with the merchants I work with. They don't know where to start. They don't know how to keep it going. But that's why you're here, Dennis. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your story, and we'll jump right into it. Okay? Yeah, definitely. Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, I'm Dennis, so I'm a CEO at ESA, it's a premium e-commerce uh, agency. We are growing e-commerce businesses here, usually to 1 million, 2 million uh, revenue businesses. Uh, we're working with several VC funds here in London. And, um, and actually my background is I'm a startup founder. So we want several MarTech uh, prices in Europe. Uh, also I'm Google Campus alumni and, and also XTOP 30 under 30 in Belarus. So um, yeah, I mean, just we prepare these kind of webinars for you. Uh, to, to give you um, a whole overview of how it's going with e-commerce SEO from, from scratch. I mean, uh, when, you, when you have a website, when you don't have a website, and, you know, it's really divided into three parts. The first one, we're going to show you how you should collect keyword research, make it right now in 2022, exactly with all the best hints from the, the worldwide experts. Uh, second one, we'll show you what you need to do with on-site optimization and technical one, because many kind of questions usually asked to us from uh, business owners and the third, how to work with the content and off-page optimization, also known as link building. Exactly. And for you out there, uh, don't get intimidated by this topic. SEO can get uh, a little bit technical in places, but we will do the best. Dennis will do his best to present this in a way that's uh, consumable and not only consumable, but applicable to you and your Printify account and your store. Okay. All exactly. right. Well, Dennis, let's go ahead and jump right into this um, yeah. and, uh, and, and take it away. We'll, we'll, we'll start with the slides. Yeah, exactly. So uh, our first part will be uh, keyword SEO, keyword and ROI research. <clears throat> so over here, you will, you will see how to make uh, these keyword research. Either you have a free tools or you have paid tools because many people say, hey, SEO is it's too expensive with, with the services. So no, actually it's not. You just need to, to, to know the right tools. The third thing is how to make the keyword grouping, why it's important, what is ideal uh, e-commerce structure, and why you need to do it even before you create your website. But if not, you, you can still improve it. The third is your competitors' analysis. I'll show you how we do it in, in, in one of the best agencies here uh, for our premium clients. So how we analyze competitors with their internal factors, external factors. I'll show you the numbers and how you can really get real estimates. Then we'll create your SEO plan. Uh, I'll show you how uh, the whole website structure looks like. Uh, what kind of um, uh, serviceable, uh, achievable market, um, as investors call it, or some um, is your overall, overall reach, what is your serviceable operating market, or so much, so how many clicks you can get, and uh, divide it into different parts uh, with, uh, with your traffic, with, uh, with your specs that you need to create. And, and, and the last thing, but not least, we will create financial modeling. So we'll know exactly how much money you can make, how many sales you can make from Google, 
from each specific topic cluster, how much money you need to spend on each specific uh, topic cluster, and then I will show you how to prioritize all the clusters according to ROI, return on investment. Great. Well, let's, let's jump right into it. But before we do, um, I'm going to mention this a few times throughout the webinars, through our webinar series. If you want to get in touch with Dennis and uh, 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 make use of his services, you can connect with him through our uh, Printify Experts program. We're going to put that link in the chat for you right now, and we'll pepper that in as we go along. But Dennis is available to you, uh, and, and we'll get into a little bit more uh, about how you can connect with Dennis a little bit later. But I just wanted to know that that is available in the chat. Okay, Dennis, that's enough from me. Take it away. Let's go. So uh, the first is keyword research. So uh, actually knowing your total organic traffic, you can estimate your sum. So serviceable operating market. Well, actually, this is like the, the lake. Uh, so the real amount of your lake uh, in, in Google SEO. So uh, knowing this, you, you will understand um, what are your competitors because predicting uh, your competitors, you can predict your organic clicks. So and from that, knowing your e-commerce conversion rate, you, you can estimate your monthly revenue and even annual revenue. You know, and our accuracy is around 80% with that. So I'll show you how we're doing it one by, or step by step. So you can follow and do it by yourself. Okay. So a keyword research. Um, the keyword research is actually the process of discovering words and search terms, uh, how people um, uh, type them in search engines like Google, Bing, and YouTube. YouTube is also a search engine. So many people um, forget about it, but it's a search engine inside of the search engine. And it belongs to Google, as well know. Um, keyword research is super important. You know, many people skip this kind of step. They say, hey, why do I need to do it? I'll just do the optimization. I just do link building. I just do whatever I need. Just fill all the forms and that's it. But actually, there are a lot of gold hidden in, in, inside of uh, keyword um, research because it's a promotion. It's also traffic grows. It's your, it's your content topics. It's your competitors. It's the quality and intent of those people and also it's the ranking. So without this, you can understand. Well, I usually say that keyword research is like a market research of the 21st century. So it's like your map. You know, you, you know your map, you know your landscape, and then you can understand where to move. Okay. Uh, and usually keyword research, how we do it, uh, they allow you to understand all the needed numbers just um, uh, on your finger, or, or fingertips. So uh, this is the example that I just uh, made from the um, from the Google Keyword Planner, which is a free tool inside of Google Ads, where you can uh, estimate uh, all the all your kind of monthly search traffic. As you can see in this specific example, it's three hundred fifty-two, uh, almost fifty-three thousand. And and then knowing your average organic CTR, which is usually three percent, because it's the lowest top ten uh, organic CTR you can get here 10,000 uh, clicks monthly and knowing your um, average e-commerce conversion rate, which is usually 1% to 2% or 2.5% in this case, is 265 sales monthly. So knowing these numbers uh, and knowing your average order value, which is 125, you can estimate the real monthly revenue from Google Ads SEO even before starting it. I mean, many people don't know it, but I mean, it's, it's an easy math. I, you will have this kind of PDF. You'll have the link on, on the Google spreadsheet that I made it for you. You, you need just, just follow the instructions, do it yourself, and just copy the whole thing, and you'll know your real numbers. So it allows to, to, to see everything. Right, and this um, is a good this is this is a good point to mention that uh, Dennis is going to mention a lot of links, a lot of resources out there. We're going to collect those and put those in PDF, a downloadable downloadable PDF form, and uh, uh, let you download that at the end of today's presentation. Okay, good. Moving on. Yeah, yeah. So all those links are clickable, and also you'll find them below the video. So you you'll have them. You can follow as we have. So how to make the keyword research? People are asking, and and there have been free and paid uh, ways how to do it. And the first and easiest way is Amazon Suggest. Not many people, not many people know that Amazon is actually the best e-commerce optimized website in the world. But that's why, because they're monopolists. And, and uh, you know, just type in your main keyword, how you are looking for, for your business inside the search box, you will get suggestions. And all those kind of suggestions are exactly your categories and sub categories in your website. So please go into Amazon first, just to analyze either this traffic or not, because sometimes there is not, and people are just saying, hey, I don't have any suggestion from Amazon. Well, that means it's either too, um, too small or you have a lot of opportunity and you're lucky. 
Um, the next thing is, is also Amazon sub category. So Amazon uh, has an amazing sitemap inside. You don't need to go into sitemap.xml. You just need to go to full store uh, directory and click all. And there you will see all the subcategories that you need for your specific e-commerce shop. So you will know exactly um, how they look like, what are the keywords, what are the products, just use it, it's free. The next thing is, is amazing uh, a data source is Wikipedia. So Wikipedia also has a, a lot of products in the articles uh, with mentioning them like in bold. So you can also like, if you are, if you are selling backpacks, for instance, you just, you just click on the backpack uh, page and there you will find uh, knapsacks, rucksacks, rucksack, pack, sack pack, you know, book sack, and, and so on. Spot. Collect all those kind of keywords. That's exactly what you need. We will we'll use them um, in, uh, right after. Um, and and uh, the most popular way to, to, to make this uh, keyword research is your competitors. Because, you know, like they already optimize. And those ones who are already in top three in Google search, that means they're the best. Just copy uh, their subcategories from their menu. Um, collect them, and that's exactly the names of your categories that you will use a bit later. There have been also amazing keyword research tools that I collected for you, and I'm like a student of Brian Dean from Backlinko, and, and he has an amazing article. It's called uh, 15 Best Keyword Research Tools for SEO 2022 with reviews. So you just click on them, choose your best, and, and use them. You just need to use them. Uh, there have been also very good paid... Uh, um, uh, services like uh, the best one is SMrush. So we are personally using it in, in, in our agency. So you just click on organic research and then click on positions and here you are. You have all of them and you know like uh, it's even better sometimes than, than Google because they have a huge database and millions of people using it. So whenever people are searching for something they are saving this information in their database. So that's why it's even broader than Google itself. So SMrush is the best. But the classic uh, approach is using Google Keyword Planner. And before 2014, it was an, um, an external service. People were using it for free. But since then, Google said, no, actually, we just need it for our paid instrument, Google Ad um, AdWords or Google Ads, as they call it now. And they hide it inside of Google Ads. So you first need to launch a Google Ads campaign, or you, you can skip it, actually, and then go to Tools and then find Google Keyword Planner. And I will be showing you many examples. It's free to use, so you don't need to, to, to launch any, any ads campaign, but you will see exact numbers, exact metrics from Google itself, like from the first source. So that's why it's so, so useful. Um, but you know, I also, I also use paid here because um, they, it's, a, it's a tricky thing. They're, they're not giving you direct numbers until you launch any ads campaigns. So without the uh, launch ad campaigns, you cannot understand for real what are the numbers. They, they show you from two estimations, like from zero to 100. So you never know. So that's, that's Google, okay. you know, helping all of us. Okay. Um, so- and, uh, But before we move on, it, it, should be, it should be noted that even these paid services have like a, like a free 10 day, two week trial, whatever it may be. So you can sign up with, 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 without putting out any money and at least try out that tool and get familiar with it and, and decide if it's, if it's for you as well. So uh, it, it's, it's at least something worth trying. Good, but I just wanted to pepper that in, but please continue, Dennis. So those keywords that we were collecting are from Amazon, from Wikipedia, from our own imagination. We put it here, as you can see, we have a search box. And then Google is giving you all the possible examples, either SMrush or Google. So you have it here. You don't need to create all of them. You just need to create four keywords. How would you search for your business? That's really important. So for instance, we have Even a organic dog, dog food and then it's give you all the examples and I'll show you exactly column by column. What does it mean if you're not familiar with that? So the first thing you need to check is search volume. So search volume is the average monthly searches that uh, this specific search, search keyword has during the year. And as you can see, they also show you the seasonality. So how people search for it, uh, either it's a low season or it's a high season for it. So please pay attention to this kind of column. It's one of the most important because if there's no traffic, no need to work with those keywords. So with Google Keyword Planner, so this is the example I just collected for you. Um, as you can see, we just export the whole file and then they give you all the information here. So as you can see on the left, we have all the kind of keywords that Google suggests to us. And the next column is average monthly searches that this specific keyword has 
that's exactly what I was talking to you. That is the search volume. So please collect it. We need this information just for you to understand what it is. The next thing for us to understand is uh, keyword product fit, or as, as we call it, relevancy. So for instance, if you are selling some green tea online and uh, uh, you, you might notice, oh, matcha green tea powder is 12,000 uh, searches monthly. It's so nice. I really want to do it. But, you know, after it, it's too broad. And, and there will be uh, so many people that are searching for it. But actually, if you are focused on your green tea online first, that will be much better, even when it's 90 searches monthly. As you can see, that's why it starts from those keywords. In our example that I have collected for you, so you can see uh, the idea is that we have buy bike helmet keyword that I um, made for you in green. So that means it's, it, it's a great example. And bass pin uh, uh, shoes, for instance, it's not so good um, keyword. I'll tell you why, but in time, there are people are not ready to buy now. They're, they're choosing over here. The next thing that you should take uh, a look at is uh, your commercial intent. So commercial intent, I'll show you, uh, I'll tell you a bit later, what does it mean? But even with the numbers, we can understand either it's good keyword or not. Just knowing how, how much money people are ready to pay for it. You know, if they're ready to pay for it, 279 bucks or even 10 bucks, just for one click, that's a lot. That means a commercial uh, word, we need to use it. It makes absolutely sense. In our specific page uh, that we have, um, we, uh, Google also gives you this information. So we have the high range. And as you can see, this, um, this MIPS helmet is 1.94 uh, pounds per one click. This um, one is bike cover waterproof is 1.12. And, and I marked all the green um, uh, keywords that most likely would be amazing fit for your SEO because people are fighting for those keywords right now uh, in Google Ads. Right, so, uh, and the last uh, things you need to check with your keywords is competition. So we also have it in Google, um, uh, and uh, Google is writing right for you and saying, hey, this is a high competition. So a lot of people are competing for these specific keywords. And that's great because that is the insight for us to choose. And over here, you can see, like uh, Google is giving you this information. So uh, in our case, with all these bike helmets and so on, you can see the competition is high. That means like people are really uh, are looking forward to, to, to these um, uh, keywords. And the competition is here as well. So 100 for 100, the maximum. Perfect, this is a great fit for us. And as a result, you uh, get these kind of estimations that I was showing to you with, uh, with, with, with the monthly uh, traffic that you can get uh, from Google search. You have the good keywords you're sure about and, and, and knowing your um, average um, organic CTRs and your average uh, e-commerce conversion rates, you can estimate all these numbers I was showing to you. So over here will be a link. So you can just download this Google uh, spreadsheet and play with your numbers. So you go first to Google Keyword Planner, export the whole file, and then add these kind of formulas that, that we have in these docs to your file. And here you go. You already know the information you can start working with. That's wonderful. And that's something that people can, uh, can apply and start using right away. Excellent. Exactly. exactly. So the next thing, what I would like to cover is, is keyword grouping. It's also called uh, topic clusters and uh, um, you know, grouping um, all the keywords by intent. So why do we need it? Actually, we need it to create an amazing website structure because e-commerce is all about the structure. And the best structure that e-commerce might have is when you have a home uh, page. Then you have uh, category pages, then subcategory pages, and then products. So that is amazing thing because it covers all. So to know exactly what categories and subcategories you should have, you need this keyword grouping. So this is the example of, of the ideal structure and um, how, you can, how, how you can do it actually. You can do it with SEM Rush because they already have it. You just use their keyword magic tool, go to groups, and then click on buy volume so you can see it over here, it already made it for you. So they're collecting it um, uh, for you. But if you don't have it and you use a classic old school way with Google Keyword Planner, then you can do it manually by hands. Uh, I mean, with, with, with these topic classes. So I, I made this example for you either so you can click on it and, and see. But the idea is that you need to combine all the keywords by the topic. 
uh, together because that is, is, is super important. And in this case, we have a healthcare software development company, outsourcing software development company, custom software development company, and then we just group those keywords together. I'll show you why a bit okay. later. And as the result, you get this kind of ideal structure for your website. So uh, in, in, in this specific case, if we're selling shoes, you might have sneakers, formal and sandals, and then inside of sneakers, you have sports and streets and then products. In formal, you have Oxford and loafers and then products. And in sandals, you have flip-flops and leather and then products, because that is uh, so important um, to just try not to skip this kind of stuff here. And what I also wanted to show you is the intent, the intent of, of the keywords you work with. Because uh, firstly, if you see all those thousands of keywords um, uh, in the first time, you say, hey, I don't understand where I need to start from. There are so many topic clusters. There are so many keywords. What is that prioritization? And I'll tell you, you know, because we, we have e-commerce SEO, we first start from transactional uh, keywords. Well, these are the, uh, the keywords where we use the products. And so that means people are ready to buy, like brand, like Nike, Apple, Sony, you know, like specific products like MacBook Pro, Samsung Galaxy, uh, and so on. Product categories like WordPress hosting, like um, everything else, words buy, coupon, discount, shipping. So those words are convert like crazy. So if you find them and you have those specific product pages, you need to create your pages, even if you, even if you don't have um, uh, too many chances for them. I mean, the competition might be high, but that is your main thing. So try to, to start from those keywords. The second intent is commercial. So people are looking for specific products, but they haven't made this final decision yet. You know, that's why it's best, top 10, review, cheap, affordable. They also convert very really good, but, but, you know, people are more comparing the things. So that's why when I'm asked either we need this feature on the website with the comparison of different products or not, well, this is exactly this feature for these kind of people that are not ready to buy yet and they are just choosing. So yeah, definitely. If you have this, uh, this possibility, please do it because there are a lot of people uh, they're searching for. And from your keyword research, you will see either you, you have a lot, a lot of those keywords or not. The third intent is informational keywords. Well, uh, people are looking for specific information and it might be how to, best way to, ways to, I need to, tips and so on. Um, we call it block uh, uh, post mostly. And the best way is to convert them and collect on an email list. So try not to break the people, try to nurture them, try to give them information. And that means when they will be ready um, when they're ready to, to, make, uh, to buy, they will remember you from your um, marketing instruments and they will uh, co convert later. And the last is navigational keywords. Well, it's they're looking for a specific website or app like Facebook login, like Amazon, SEMrush. Well, my best practice is it's hard to work with them. Try, not, uh, try to avoid them. So these are the keywords you need to avoid. And if you have this framework inside of your head, then it will be easy to group all the keywords, create an amazing structure, and, and then start working with the specific keywords. Competitors analysis. So this is the part um, that is really complicated. It, and usually people are having a lot of arguments, how we, we should do it properly, how to do it. And actually we just sum up it with internal and external factors uh, that you, you should take into account, and then you will see all by yourself. So our goal here is to find the gaps in Google search where you can land with your pages that are relevant to this search uh, term and compete other websites pages. So you need to find the gaps. Um, and the best way to do it is uh, content and backlinks because we already managed the keywords with the content and backlinks, we, we just need to understand what is the content, how good it is, and, and, um, and also with the backlinks to understand how many of those backlinks we have, what are the websites that they're linking to, and how uh, big their authority. And here it is the example. So we usually start from the competitor's uh, analysis with the keyword grouping, because we were doing it to analyze exactly how this whole topic cluster is doing. And as you can see here, we're analyzing three things. Um, the, uh, number of symbols, 
either they have video or not, and also photos. So three things, we call it VTP, video text photos, or with the full, right? So it's a content check, how to do it. The easy way again is go to SMrush. So they have the keyword overview and you just click on it and you will see the whole uh, SERP analysis in front of you. So they'll have all the links on the website with all the authority score with the referring domains and all the information. If you don't have it, you can use free extensions like Search Lab, uh, Laboratory. Well, it's like a version of VPN where you, you can type different geographies and then scrap by, your, by yourself the whole top 10 uh, searches that you have. So you can do it by yourself manually. And, and after it, when you already have collected all those keywords, you need to go and check the number of words. And the easiest way is just go to plagiarism detector, online service, and, and just put your URL over there. You see, like I, uh, you put it here and then check plagiarism and it gives you the number of words. And then you, you come back to your stretch it and put it there. And as, as the example, you're gonna have all these topic clusters with your competitors, number of symbols or words if you're using them, uh, either they have video or not, and then photos, how many of them they have or not. Because, um, and I usually prefer to, to collect videos and photos manually because, you know, it gives me the understanding and I also check them by myself, so with my eyes, so to see how well and how uh, good quality those websites have. The next thing is external check. So it's a backlinks, donors, and domain rating. So the backlink is usually the link when one website is linking on another. So uh, the, the best uh, example is uh, followers on Instagram. So when somebody is following you on Instagram, you have like 1 million followers or you have 1K followers. This is exactly uh, with, with the websites and their pages. So when people, when, when websites are, are linking on each other, that means they become their donors or AKA um, subscribers. And, and that, that means uh, the, the bigger authority they have, the, the better will be for your website. So that is the, the whole idea. So over here, we also need to collect all the information with the backlinks, donors, and domain rating, or authority score. Uh, I mean, it depends on the service you use. So we'll be collecting it here. And the easiest way here is to use Ahrefs. It's, in, it's also an online service, and it gives you all the information you need. So, um, you know, we just type our uh, website with um, ecommerceassoagency.co.uk, and you can see that they use uh, domain rating here of nine, backlinks 159 and referring domains 26. So this is a specific information. How to check it for all the competitors. You just type one website after another and just collect this information by yourself. The free way to do it is to use two Google Chrome extensions. One is called SEO Quake. Uh, you can see it over here. It gives you all, all the information with the, with the number of links, number of donors, and, and also they, they give you the keyword difficulty and like 76.57% with Shopify keyword. And, and, and the second one is SEO Minion because they're also showing you um, the uh, ad results, product listings, video listings, and organic results as well. So you can understand um, what is the whole Google search working here. So just install them, they're great, uh, uh, find them and use them. Uh, I'm using them by myself. And as a result, so when we, we collected all the internal factors, which is content, video, and, and photos, we also uh, collected external factors, which are backlinks, donors, and domain rating, we have positions. So we might uh, guess where we can get with the positions, because depending on how much uh, content you have, how good it is, or uh, how much you need to create, you, will, you can estimate, okay, so if I create 14,000 uh, symbols over here, no videos, no photos, and make uh, 10 backlinks and five donors uh, with this kind of authority, most likely I will be on the H position per each topic cluster. And that's what you do per each topic cluster inside of your Google spreadsheet. And that's how you understand what are your gaps, where you can get. Okay. The next part, so when we, when we make the competitors analysis uh, with all those uh, factors, we go to SEO plan and we get it here. So we collect all the information together, topic cluster by topic cluster. In our way, it's gonna be category pages or subcategory pages all together. We have the number of symbols we need or words, other words, how many videos we need, both photos, 
and then accidental factors as well. So how many backlinks, donors, and how uh, strong they need to be with the domain rating. So this kind of information, as you understand, it will go for our spec docs, for the content managers, and for link builders, or the guys you, or for yourself, if you're going to be working with the, with the links. So you will understand exactly uh, what you need to do for this uh, topic class specifically for your pages. But also, we, you might tell me, okay, Danny, so and what about traffic uh, volume? Like uh, how we can get this kind of volume for each topic cluster? I don't know where to, to, to take it from. And actually, you remember we were making this keyword grouping and actually it's the sum of those keywords that are included in those groups. So you take these sums and put them inside of your SEO plan over here. And that is where you, you can get it. Positions you can take, um, so this is, it, it's, it's over here. With the positions actually, you can take uh, um, from your um, competitor analysis because we were analyzing how good your um, competitors are. And uh, as you can see, it's over here. And uh, why it's important? Because uh, Brian Dean analyzed um, approximately 10 million websites and, and uh, found the correlation when your website or your web page is on the 10th position, it gets 3% approximately of the whole volume of the search term. And the first position takes approximately 32%. So as you can see, why, uh, when you're growing your positions, your organic CTR is increasing and you get more and more organic clicks. So that's why those positions are really important. And that's how you can estimate your website traffic. Because knowing your volume, knowing your organic CTR, you can estimate the clicks that you get. And from here, you can really estimate it uh, right there. And actually, we already did it for you. So uh, we already have these formulas. You just need to, uh, to do your homework. And then you can estimate and know exactly what kind of um, website uh, organic uh, clicks you can get monthly. And uh, as we call it, it's serviceable operating market. So what is the part of the market you can realistically take? Because people are usually guessing, they're like, oh, it might be 3%, it might be 5%, it might be that. No, it depends on, 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 on the cluster. It depends on the group. And that is your SEO plan. And okay. that, in the end, you get this kind of information in front of your eyes. Okay, so basically what you're saying is these, this sort of keyword research is not really out there in the ether. It's sort of a settled science. If you do X, if you do Y, you can get Z. And, and, and this is something you can plan on. And if you implement these, these sort of keywords in your, in, in your, in your storefront, in, the, in those places in which you mentioned, that you can, that you can generally predict exactly what kind of, what kind of organic traffic uh, you you can expect absolutely wonderful, and I know I, I I can I can feel a lot of you out there right now saying, oh my gosh, you know your your uh, eyes are getting big. This is a lot of information. No need to worry. Again, Dennis is going to provide uh, uh, you this this information in downloadable PDF format at the end yeah. of today's uh, webinar. Plus, you you can uh, you're always free to revisit this 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 webinar at printify.com/webinars. Watch it over and over and over again. This is this is some super helpful stuff. If you can ingest this and apply and, and uh, uh, convert it and apply it to your store. This is, this is certainly something that we highly recommend that you do, okay? So uh, uh, please, pl pl please re revisit this, printify.com uh, slash webinars over and over again. And again, apply the materials and, and, and you'll be fine. But uh, stay with us and we, will, and, and we will illuminate you further, okay? Dennis, exactly. please, please continue. Yes, exactly. So, uh, well, this is advanced level, you know, like when you're really collecting the numbers, but as you can see, when you're going one by one, step by step, it's really achievable. It's really easy to do. That's how our researchers are working. That's how working the best agencies on the market is how we're collecting it. And more oil, I'll show you right now, more even advanced level, how you can make the financial modeling with the sales, with the costs and return on investments. Okay. Uh, well, and and just one more thing, just remember at the end of today's presentation, we will be having our trivia question where you can uh, 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 have a chance to win 50, uh, 50, uh, $50 Printify sales credit based on the information that is presented today. So I hope you're paying attention. Okay. And again, you can get in touch with Dennis and uh, make, use of his, uh, make use of his professional services through the Printify Experts program link in the chat below. Okay, good. Keep, please, please continue. Yeah. So, um, so right now we, we're going to uh, discuss financial planning. This is the, the next part of SEO plan because, right, so we already know 
uh, all this kind of information um, about the, the website structure, about the traffic, about the clicks, and, and the spec docs we need to do. But what about the money? What about uh, the things we can get, actually? And, uh, and we also have these formulas for you. You can also download it um, uh, in the PDFs and, 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 and Google Spreadsheets where you can play with your formulas. We, we have two, uh, two main parts of the columns. The first is the time of work and time in top 10 and time in top three that you can expect getting your traffic from this uh, topic class. There's just simple formula, no explanation, just install it works. And the same, uh, and, and the next thing is your sales. So when you know your e-commerce conversion rate, which is usually from 1% to 2.5% or even bigger, but it depends, um, usually around 1%, you can estimate your sales monthly. You can estimate your sales um, yearly. And also knowing your average order value, so how much on average people buy from your website, you can know your monthly recurring revenue and annual recurring revenue. And that is a game changer. Because many people were saying like, hey, yes, here's unpredictable. You cannot calculate. It's impossible. And as I'm showing to you, like it's really accurate. It really has all the numbers. So you can see exactly how much money you can make. So perfect. I mean, you can know your number. Like in this specific case, it's 665,000. And that's the maximum you can get from, from organic SEO. Wow. Let, let's invest it. How much we need to invest. And that's the thing that we need to calculate as well. So we need to calculate all the costs that we need for, from our spec docs, both for content and link building activities. So it's the, it's the content pages, uh, it's the content for, for any uh, guest posting if, you, if you're gonna use this kind of services, um, then uh, payment uh, to these uh, platforms if you might pay them or to be listed, cost of images, videos, SEO services if you use. So try to add everything you can on average so we also have all these formulas so no need just to be afraid but if you are um uh the nerdy guys i am you know you, you like to collect all the numbers all in front of you even before then you can use it and try to do it so after it when you collected all this kind of thing you will have the total cost for each topic cluster and and you will know 100 percent how much money you need to spend and then you might estimate the roi so return on investment Return on investment is the, it's a metric that allows you to understand how profitable is your specific topic cluster. And in our case, how fast and cheap you can get your results right now. So, and, and by prioritizing the whole things by the ROI, you can understand what topic cluster you need to start from, how much money it will, uh, you will need for each um, uh, topic you, you have. And, and that is your actual plan with financial modeling. And this is actually the, the thing that we do for investment funds. So they, they are hiring us and say, hey, do this uh, keyword research, like market research for e-commerce business uh, and tell us how much we can grow them, where they need to focus, how much money is gonna cost us and how much money we, we can get from it. This is it. The, the, you just take this, this Google spreadsheet and you have it. Okay. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's, that, that's absolutely wonderful because yeah, everyone out there is, is, is wondering, great. Now that I know this, how do I make money on it? So there you go. And, and we'll, and we'll, ha and we'll have those materials available for you to, uh, to apply this, to apply these formulas and techniques, uh, to your store, but please continue Dennis. Yeah. Moreover, I just wanted to show you the next level. So we, when you have this SEO predictions, you can make the same with your Google ads, because you remember we had these estimations with cost per click, the lowest, the highest, so we can estimate the Google Ads as well. We can do pretty the same with Facebook. So Facebook is allowing you to estimate with the targeting, the reach, and the clicks approximately you can get. So collecting all this kind of information together, you can, uh, you can check and you can really predict and accurately predict, for instance, your million pounds or million dollars business. And what will be your strategy? Because that is the foundation for your marketing strategy. And that's, that's how we are um, making our marketing strategies and our predictions for our clients. So it's, we, we, we take this research, we know all the numbers, we know approximately the velocity, so how much money they need to spend monthly, what will be the profit um, after one year for each different countries. We estimate Google Ads either, and then Facebook, Instagram, and say, hey, actually for US uh, store, uh, you, you just need Facebook to, to become a million dollars uh, business. And for SEO, from SEO, you uh, can get approximately 50K 
but in three years, and, and if, if we increase, you can get like 25 to 30. With UK, you can become one million pound business with your Facebook ads and SEO if you start working on it. And that's a game changer. You know, that's a, a different thing because you have all the numbers from your business. You know exactly what, is, what are your topic classes. You know exactly your costs. You know exactly your sales. And this is it. You have your, your million dollar plan. Okay. Wow. Um, absolutely wonderful. And what I like about your presentation today is that you're giving something for everybody, regardless of where they are in their in their uh, merchant journey. If you're just starting out, optimize your keywords. Then the next level is go to some of those paid services and 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 get and get some of that going. Build up and up. Make sure and then and then uh, monitor and track everything to see that you're performing how you should. Look at your look at your ROI. Make sure uh, and and optimize that. And then at each stage, moving up to the next level and to the next level. So here, regardless of where you are in your journey, we have something for you. And if you're at the beginning, great. Now you know what that what that next step is and and where and where you should where you should aim for at at the uh, at at the top level. So absolutely wonderful yeah. stuff, Dennis. Okay. Exactly. So so just follow those steps. So for for some of you, it might be enough just keyword. Um, a Google Keyword Planner with all the keywords and small formulas, you will find it below in the spreadsheet. It's the first uh, part of the full keyword research. For, for some of you, you might dive deeper and say, hey, I want uh, this grouping because I need a stru an ideal structure. I need competitors analyzed. I need to know exactly with the gaps. I need SEO plan with the specs and, and understanding what I need to do. And then I also need financial modeling for me to, to predict my finances with it, um, with all the costs, no with idea. all the uh, sales, and, and also ROI, you know, just to know exactly where I need to focus. And for some of you, it might be like the, our level. You you just make it as one of the steps of the whole big big picture to analyze the whole niche and say, hey, actually, Astro is a big thing. Facebook is a big thing. Let's just invest money in, in, in this kind of niche and then make our million-dollar uh, business. Million dollars. I like the sound of that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is pretty it. Uh, thank you for your attention. The first party um, uh, has ended. And um, yeah. Excellent. Dennis, thank you so much for your presentation. Again, we have something for everybody, regardless of, of where they are in their, in their merchant journey. And, uh, and of course, you know, we covered a lot of stuff. Uh, so you're going to want to revisit this over and over again to make sure you fully ingested everything. You can do that at printify.com slash webinars. And eventually these webinars will make, the, make their way uh, onto our, our YouTube page and you can, can, can consume them there. But the good thing is, is if you would like to avail yourself of Dennis's services, you are more than welcome to, to do so by uh, connecting with him through the Printify Experts link in, in, uh, that you see in our chat. And also at our, at, at our uh, Printify Experts page, if you need help with, also, with, with anything in in the uh, POD universe, you you can find a solution there. But Dennis, if you can just briefly tell us, let's say they uh, connect with you, what can they expect in in, in terms uh, in, in terms of, of of what you can offer them? So our roadmap looks like that. So we usually start from discovery call, and before you can book it, you provide your website a link. So either you have a website or not, because it depends a lot. And then your uh, monthly revenue, uh, average monthly revenue uh, during three months. So uh, actually, right now we don't work with everyone. So we, we, we try to work with those who have more than 20K monthly uh, revenue because we, we're more like uh, this advanced level guys. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm providing this kind of webinar for you so you can do it by yourself and increase these kind of numbers. So if you have 20K uh, plus MRR and, and, and you have a website and, and, and you, you want to grow because there will be a lot of changes, there will be a lot of things, you know, um, then please welcome, you can book a call with us. We'll, we'll um, it's, it's more like uh, know each other call, you know, than, than make a decision call. So you just, we just know each other, we understand either you good fit or not, because uh, right now with e-commerce, we usually focus on D2C clients, direct to consumer. Uh, clients because we can grow them fast. We can grow them like to one million uh, pound business, uh, one million dollars a business, two million dollar business. So already have several clients that we grew from 100k to to three million, and and they're still growing. You know, on on the American market. So we are these guys. So if you are if you're interested, if you see uh, this potential and you see this, it's the time. Please jump in and um, let's have a call. Sure, but in, in any case, please make use of the information that, that was presented today. 
and apply it and, uh, uh, and make yourself more profitable. Well, Dennis, wow, there was so much cool stuff. Now, before we get to our trivia question today, uh, just a quick review. I love how you provided all those, all those resources for us. You can find that in the downloadable PDF available right now. Um, I like how you presented there's a mix of, uh, of, of paid resources out there and some free and some free, free resources out there. Makes sense if you're just getting started to uh, make use of those free resources first. And then when it, when it makes financial self to you, uh, go ahead ahead and start using some of those paid services. But again, a lot of those paid services like SEM Rush have a free trial period where you can yeah. uh, you know, take advantage of it for, for 10 days or two weeks, whatever it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. And yeah, and, 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 and most services are like that. But, uh, but uh, uh, you know, in terms of those free services out there, the tip about using the Amazon search bar as, a, as sort of your, uh, as a sort of a keyword uh, 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 resource as absolutely, absolutely gold. And you can also use the Etsy search search bar uh, uh, in in the same way, but uh, to put put in your products and then see what comes up and it's all and it's listed in, in terms of, of popularity and you know the Amazon subcategories that you mentioned. Wikipedia, another great resource for for free uh, keywords. Um, but, uh, and, and then everything you mentioned about the Google keyword planner and all that stuff. And, and we have, we, we, we will have those, those links for you, but this is something you can take, take advantage of and apply right away. Okay. Dennis, everyone's out there is waiting for us to stop and tell them or ask the uh, trivia question. So I have it here. Okay. Based on today's information. Okay. How can you collect all the keywords from Google search that your website has now, or might have, if you have none yet. Okay, so Dennis mentioned that earlier in the uh, in the uh, webinar. First three correct answers will get a fifty dollar Printify sales credit. Put those into chat right now. Okay, but again, uh, if you've watched this uh, webinar all the way through, congratulations, you made it to the end. Um, we this is the first webinar in a series of three on SEO, where we will talk, where we will explore all aspects of of the of the SEO uh, of the of the SEO experience and how you can optimize that for your store. Join us again next week for the second webinar, uh, where, where where Dennis will continue his story. But if you watch all three webinars all the way through, we will know that through our analytics, and you will automatically be enter to win the grand prize, which is a $100 uh, Printify sales credit, along with a Printify hoodie. And we will contact the winner, let you know, so we can get, get, get send you the right size hoodie. But Dennis, wow, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, that was a lot of information. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, looking for forward me. to continuing this next week. I hope you will join us for, for webinar number two in this SEO series. Um, wow. Okay, Dennis, let's just go ahead and say goodbye. And let, uh, let, let the audience uh, take a breath and consume all that information, go through the PDF, revisit it on printify.com slash webinars, and we will see you next week. Thank you so much. See you next week. Thanks for having okay, me. Bye, everyone. Bye.